Welcome back. Here now, the funniest commercial of the year from 2006. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, lose my mind. Imagine how the world could be. So very fine. So happy together. So happy together. You're not going to bottle this one now, are you, Ed? No, no, I'm all over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm at the meeting time. So sorry. Direct to Ed's massively important presentation. Enthusiasm. Motivation. Opportunalize. And some brown sauce. Cheers. People hang on his every word, even the prepositions. He could disarm you with his looks or his hands. Either way, he can speak French in Russian. He is the most interesting man in the world. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friend. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I just don't do commercials. It's not my thing. Conan, this is different. It's a ton of money, and it's only going to be seen in Sweden. Only in Sweden? All the Hollywood guys do this. This one commercial couldn't hurt. Bud Light. That wasn't me. Hey, Conan! Vroom, vroom, body starter! Body starter! I knew it, man. You knew what? I told you not to eat the Skittles from my hourglass. I mean, look at me, man. You're speeding up time. How many did you eat? Like two? Three? You sit down. I told you. <clears throat> Say what? Warp the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Ponete como ahora, güey. Ponete como ahora, güey.
the father of one of my kids. Yeah. Oh. Cancun. Spring Break 99. What? No. No. Oh. Oops! Someone forgot to boost! Excuse me? I think you're the father of one of my kids. Oh, my daughter's in your art class. Sister Mary Catherine. Yes. Minute Maid enhanced with a five nutrient boost. Put good in, get good out. Right, Mr. Burnley, sorry to keep you waiting. So what I'm gonna have you do is just stand up and just relax. Who is that? He's just observing. Okay. Scott, no. I thought we were gonna do this together. No, we're not. Okay. Until there's Take Your Friend to Work Day, there's Career Mapping, created to help you explore new career paths. Only at Monster.com. Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Name? Ron Martinez. Welcome. And my condolences. <laughs> uh. It's odd. There seem to be a few weekends missing. In this economy, we just can't afford a vacation. I can help, but you must say exactly what I say, exactly how I say it. Honey, honey, I just got a... I just got a great deal on a four-star hotel at Priceline. There's never been a better time to... Name your own price. And save up to half off. Sweet lips. We can afford that. But why are you speaking that way? I guess I'm just speaking the language of the deal. Back to our top 10 countdown. Coming in at number three. Let's observe the effect of Evian on your body. Come on, I said a hip hop. The hip it, the hip it to the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rocket to the bang bang. Boogie say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm rocking to the beat. And me, the groove, and the friends are gonna try to move, move your feet. feet. See, I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello. Bang, 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 bang. Boogie to the boogie, the up jump, the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie, let's rock. You don't stop. Rock the middle, that'll make your body rock. Well, so far you have heard my voice, but then I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is my man Hank. Come on, come and sing that song, that song. Number two. Hey, boss. I want to let you know I'm going to be off on Monday. I never heard of Chinchilla Day. Sure you have. It's called the Revolucion de Chinchilla. It was when the pet chinchillas of a tiny Pueblo town rose up against the people. For three bloody days, the fighting continued. My people were able to hold back the chinchillas. Until finally, the last was gone. Every year, my people celebrate the victory over the revolt. And how do you celebrate? Three days in Vegas. It's a cultural obligation. Happy Chinchilla Day. You too, boss. When we return, the funniest commercial of the year. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. Here now, the funniest commercial from 2008. Hey, Dave, the day's over. Time for Bud Light. I can't. I have to cut the cheese. I thought you cut the cheese already. It wasn't me. I heard you cut the cheese this morning. 
I like to cut the cheese in spurts throughout the day. You should cut the cheese first thing in the morning like me. Otherwise, it starts backing up. I couldn't. My girlfriend was here this morning, and you know how that goes. I cut the cheese in front of my girl once. I never heard the end of it. You ever see a woman cut the cheese? Nah, they don't do it right. They're too delicate. My grandmother cut the cheese all the time, especially as she got older. Hey, guys, I'm going to be in the back. I'm going to pinch a loaf. <laughs> Want me to pull your finger? Will you pull my finger help me cut the cheese? Oh, yeah. If I pull your finger, you'll be cutting the cheese within seconds. Oh, yeah. I have to run. Got to drop the kids off at the pool. You know, Uncle Les, after watching all these spots, I hope you got a better idea of what makes a funny commercial. Oh. You know, what, how to let it rip with a comedy. I do, and I gotta say, this has just been a gas. You're a good egg, Kevin. But let me ask you this. There were so many funny spots. How do you decide which one was the funniest one? Oh, oh, I don't. I don't decide. People vote, and they decide. In fact, here's what they've decided today. A recap of our top ten countdown so far. Number ten. I'm a man. And I smell like a man. But sometimes I like to smell like a different smelling man. Number nine. Antiquing took over our lives. So I tried Viagra, and now my antiquing is pretty much gone. Number eight. Number six. Number five. Number four. Number three. My voice within a brought two friends above. And next on the mic is my man Hank. Come on, come and see that song. Number two. I never heard of Chinchilli Day. Sure you have. It's called the Revolution de Chinchilla. It was when the pet chinchillas of a tiny Pueblo town rose up against the people. Look, I told you we're not hiring. Ah, Lou Dobbs again. Hmm. Well, Uncle Les, I got to take off, but it's great seeing you again. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a family reunion, mm -hmm. huh? But without the crowds yeah. and the riffraff. <laughs> Before I go, I want you to check out one more spot. Really? Is it funny? It is funny. In fact, you could say it's the funniest commercial of the year because that's exactly what it is. The funniest commercial of the year, 2009. Check it out. Today we're out finding out what type of holes people prefer. Donut holes or Hardy's new biscuit holes? B-hole. Yeah, the B-hole has it over the A-hole for sure. Why? What do you like about it? The A-hole seems kind of small. It's great. I just don't like the A-holes. B-holes are tasty and flavorful. The A-hole is nasty. A-hole tastes funny. I guess I'm just kind of a B-hole kind of guy. Introducing biscuit holes with icing. The best kind of holes money can buy. New at Hardee's. <laughs> that was a great spot. Congratulations to Hardee's for making great bee holes. Hello, my name is Yuri. Where I can take you today? I think I'll walk. Good night, everybody. Is it funny? Uh, oh, is it funny? I, that's what I said. Oh. Costello, that's what I said. Is it funny? <laughs> right. You ever put one of these up your nose, Les? I have done other things with it. Where I come from, a joke can last as long as two or three hours. You just keep, you just go when you go. Where did you get this? That was a gift uh, to me from a person I golf with. Um, we would go out and hunt those.